Hi guys, so I was telling myself clearly less than a minute ago, okay? Well, one of these girls, this is what got me started on it, okay? I am a, I'm a realist, okay? I was explaining to my sister what she was basically doing by going into my room. Because I'm over 18, okay? If I wanted to and I had a job, okay, I could pay for my, for my room, okay, basically. Okay, door shut, and here's the thing, she's constantly coming into my room, okay, and taking my stuff, and ruining my stuff, okay? So, basically, she is breaking and entering, destruction of property, and a whole bunch of other things, okay? Okay, yes, this is my parents' house, okay? But, here's the thing, it's my stuff. Some of these things I bought myself, okay, occasionally, like, I bought my coconut splash stuff, okay? That is my favorite stuff in the whole world. Like, I love the soft soap stuff. But, here's the thing, okay? I have a problem with people... Now, here's the thing. Yes, I'm going to do politics, okay? Delete me if or if you're a thing if you want. But here's the thing. I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel on this whole thing. I, as I told you, I am a realist, okay? I was telling one of these girls about something and they're like dang you're dark and I was like no I'm telling the truth cold hard facts I'm not going to sugarcoat it okay and I forget what it was about but I told it simply as straightforward as I could okay but yeah like I was saying back on track I'm a realist okay yes I believe we should help people but I am I know enough that I know that when some things you can you can throw money at it you can work people to the bone and you still will get barely anything done okay the best thing you can do is do what you can to help okay whether it's volunteering or hey even like donating some stuff like say my girl scout troop does a lot of sales okay we get a lot of donations every little donation that we get goes directly to towards um what is it called what's called base basically the summary of it is cookies for the troops okay basically what we give them to uso well the cookies are sent there and they distribute them among the troops, basically, around the world. The homebound ones get the chocolate ones because they don't travel very well. Okay, but say we're in Norway, fighting. Okay, I'm hoping we're not because I really like that country. <laughs> and it's a beautiful landscape and everything. But here's the thing, they would get the chocolate and stuff. Now, the people in the Middle East get the tray foils, the do -si dos you know, those. The ones that don't melt as well. The Samoas, they stay homebound, too. <laughs> Those would probably still still be homebound in Norway. Because caramel freezes fast and it hurts like hell to bite on. I know for a fact I have a chipped tooth from it. Ah. But yeah. Okay. One of my friends... <laughs> because of the way I am, they are like, hey... You should run for politics. And this was me. You don't want me in charge of missile codes. And she's like, why? I was like, I won't release them unlike someone. Oh, wait. That wasn't missile codes. They just went missing. Whoops. <clears throat> probably shouldn't have said that. Probably get killed. But here's the thing. The truth has to be said. Okay? No matter how hard it is, okay, how dangerous it is, the truth has to be said, okay? Because no matter how hard you try, the truth will come out, one way or another. I'm gonna find you, I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you one way, maybe next week. Sorry. I might have actually butchered that song, but... It's one of my favorites. I've never been able to find all the lyrics. 
but oh my god there was a ridiculous ass thing okay saying oh I can stop a hurricane better than Trump yeah you can fly into it Hillary no I'm not saying she should literally fly into it and die okay I'm pretty sure anyone who like Okay, right, yeah, I'm sharing my opinion. I'm risking my life right now. I mean, come on. Did you see what happened to that reporter? Okay. This thing, I'm not afraid to die. Death has tried to take me many, many times. He keeps on failing. Probably could get shot in the head and just come back. Not as a zombie, don't worry. Maybe. Just keep an eye on me. If I go, uh, brains, I, like start charging after people, like, ah, fucking keep me down. Freeze my ass if you have to. Okay. Right. How did I get that bruise? I need to stop going biking. <laughs> but yeah. Back on track. <laughs> Now, what I was saying, I'm a realist, okay? I believe we should help people. Help them. Oh, thank God, she's a fly. Oh my God, that was a spider. <laughs> Terrified of things. But yeah, I believe that we should help. It is our duties as humans to help our fellow man as best as we can. Right. It doesn't matter how much money you throw at it, how much manpower you put in it. No, it kind of does. But the best thing we can do is do our best and try the help. Okay? Maybe someday, yeah, we'll find a way to make the world peaceful. Okay, at least for a little while. Okay? But, there's always going to be conflicts. Unless we start killing off people. Leave one man, one woman in each country. That's the only way you're going to get world peace. You know why? We won't run into each other. And shut down the internet. And we can't bitch at each other. I know, it sounds ridiculous. <laughs> but, personally, I believe that is the only way we're ever going to achieve world peace in this time. Kill everybody, except for two people in each country. You know why? Culture. Okay? You don't want to kill the culture. Okay? One of these guys in my chat window a couple months ago, actually about a month ago, he was saying, oh, women haven't built kingdoms, yeah, yeah, yeah. They can't rule, yeah, yeah, yeah. This was me. Bitch, please. I brought up... Well, I brought up Cleopatra. Yeah, she didn't rule very well. But Hesepchut, I cannot pronounce her name. But the woman that got her, her name and stuff related, erased and destroyed by her her stepson or son i forget which god you think i remember this i'm like obsessed with ancient egypt and i forgot it <laughs> i'm a disappointment <laughs> but yeah she ruled very well and for quite a long time and here's the thing she ruled as a man yes but she was a woman and i found an amazing quote i forget who it was by but it was like this Men, men build kingdoms and rule them. Women um, create, create civilizations and maintain them. And no, I'm not saying that our place is in the kitchen or like raising kids or anything like that. But here's the thing. I'm sorry to say this, but that is basically what men can't cook. Okay, unless they are trained. Or, like, they know what the heck they're doing. Right? 
My boyfriend, I love him, I love him greatly, but his version of cooking is... Actually, no, he did bake me a really pretty cake for my birthday, which was really sweet. But I've only seen him bake that. And, um, basically make peanut butter sandwiches. Okay? And here's the thing. Yes, men can raise children. They can't have them, though. Okay? They, well, actually, well, they could have a kid. But you would have to still have a surrogate. So, a woman still giving birth. And from everything that I've read, it hurts like fuck. And those are written by men, most of them. Okay? So, imagine how painful it is. And guess what? I still want kids. Hell, I want tons. Tons and tons and tons of kids. And no, it's not for a show. No, it's not for money. I just love kids. I have wanted a large family since I was, like, little. I mean, heck, I used to sleep with, like, tons of baby dolls that are under my bed. And I would take each one of them in for bed. I would give them a little bottle. Okay, I had a milk and an orange juice. Orange juice was for morning. And milk was for lunch and dinner. Okay? So they had a well-balanced breakfast for baby dolls. Okay? They each had their own clothes, their own personalities. And actually, I still have many of them. I have one that is so old. It's actually older than my grandma. Well, actually, it's younger than my grandma, but it's older than my dad. And my dad's like... 50-something. <laughs> Dinosaurs. No. I know that is rude. <laughs> but, yeah. <coughs> but, yeah. My politics are... I don't have any set party. Okay? Each one of them has their flaws. Each one of them has their good things about them. Okay? But here's the thing. No two people are alike. No people are perfect. Expecting a candidate to be 100% perfect is like expecting the sun to turn, like, I don't know, magenta or light pink or purple or black. Well, actually, the black would be very bad. <laughs> so it would white. <laughs> but you know what I mean, okay? It's ridiculous. It won't happen. At least not in our time. The only way to have a perfect candidate would be a robot. And even there, um, Strone, like, they're subjectable to human error. Because we build them. And even robots building robots, those robots are, like, fucked up too. Because we built the original ones. And that's all of a sudden... A random box turns into a computer and, like, evolves. It's ridiculous, okay? Now, I don't like Hillary, okay? At all. Okay? I don't like what she did to those people that, like, came forward after everything, okay? With, um, what's-her-face, you know, Bill's secretary, I don't like what she did to him, okay? And how she denied it. Okay? I know it was a safe face, but seriously? I don't like her at all. Okay, as far as I'm concerned, she's a fucking crypt keeper. Once again, taking my life in my hands. <laughs> oh well. But, yeah. One of the craziest things is that I'm always hearing candidates making these outrageous promises like stopping a hurricane or like doing this or doing that or free welfare for everything. No, not free welfare. It was free health care. It was care for everyone. Yeah, and the website couldn't work. Well, it didn't work. Okay, but here's the thing. No, I did not like, I don't like Obama. No, it's not because he's black. Okay, anyone who says that, fuck you. Okay? 
I like black people, okay? And here's the thing, okay? <laughs> a lot of my friends are black, right? And I love them. Heck, if anything else, I love them more than my white friends. You know why? Me and them get along, you know why? <laughs> God, we're sick of us. <laughs> but I like the sass that they bring in because I'm always like, you know? Oh, I did it again. Did not mean to do that last one. <laughs> but yeah, I love my friends. All my friends, okay? I have a couple of Muslims and everything, and you know what? And this is me. Okay, that's religion. Okay, that's your sex. Okay, that's how you feel. Okay, that's your um sexual identity. Okay, that's how you feel about your gender equality and everything. Okay, that's your color. Okay, this is me. So what? I'm proud of you that you are proud enough of your culture or your religion that you speak up against like people like being assholes against you okay i'm proud of them okay i love my friends okay i was raised well actually i am being raised i'm i was raised in a baptist church okay and personally i i did go to a Methodist church, and also a Catholic church. Both of them were confusing as all hell, okay? I didn't understand a single word. Well, I did, but it didn't feel right, you know? You know how, how when you're at some place and you just feel off, you know? It's like... It's like putting on an a too small pair of underwear. You know it's not... You grab it and you think, Oh, this will fit. Oh, no, it doesn't. Finding the perfect religion for you is like that. And... For a long time, I had trouble with my faith. Okay? I didn't go to church. I... I was nervous to even go there. Okay. Ow. Boop. <laughs> but eventually I went back and I'm glad I did. I get to see my friends again and I understand. It's one of those things where at some point you get to the point of some people don't okay some people do okay i'm not saying this is all people i'm not saying this is no people i'm being real okay some people they struggle with faith they think oh well if this is happening god obviously must not be real maybe there's something else i mean one of my grandparents he went to the war in vietnam okay he was captured he lost his faith in God. Okay, he thought he's obviously abandoned me if he's leaving me here. And the look on his face whenever I said, "Oh, I'm going to church," or like simply saying his name. Okay, he made the face of, "Why are you doing that?" Like, why do you believe in fairy tales? But he accepted that that's how I felt, okay? I felt like how I needed someone higher up, like higher than the president, higher than the queen, okay? higher than the most strongest dictator, okay? Stronger than human urges, okay? stronger than a hurricane, a tornado, an earthquake. Someone who... I don't know. I could come to and I could... Just... Be me. You know? Because... You 
you know? But yeah. Oh my god, I was reading one of these little booklets about red, red flags in children. Okay? And this is what it said. Unpopularity. And this is me. So... Yeah, if they're distancing, distant, purposely distancing themselves and everything, okay, it's a cause for concern, okay? If anything else, you should watch your kids, okay? Make sure that they're safe, but at the same time, you can't be a control freak. Okay? Your kids are going to make mistakes, okay? But here's the thing, telling a kid that you can't do this, Especially a teenager. Oh my god, take it from a teenager, okay? We're going to do it, no matter what you say. Especially if you tell us not to do it. Okay? It's the whole rebellion thing, okay? You need to use reverse psychology, basically. Don't do this. Don't eat your vegetables. I'm going to eat my vegetables. Not saying that will work. <laughs> Probably won't. But, you know what I mean. Okay, you have to let them be themselves. Let them make their own mistakes. If anything else, they're going to come up to you and be like, Oh my god, you were right, you were right, you were all wrong. All, you were always right. <laughs> Not that they'll say that, but the whatever. And go upstairs. Basically, that is, okay. You are right about this one. Right, but... The whole thing about drugs. That is what I take really seriously. Okay? My best friend takes them a lot. I'm not talking about, oh, ibuprofen or aspirin. No, I mean full-on drugs. Okay? I mean narcotics. Okay? Like, smoke weed every day. Okay? Those kind of weed. Of drugs, okay? Those kind. But he also smokes others, okay? Whatever the hell you do. Okay, and I worry about him. I worry about him a lot. Okay, he is my closest friend. Me and him have known each other since kindergarten. That's a hell of a long time. The whole reason we were even friends for the longest time was because we sat next to each other in, in kindergarten. I still remember what table. It was... It was green table. I was there was four seats on each side, and I was the one on this side. Here's the one seat, and there's me, and there was him. And we talked and we talked and we got along. Uh, Karen Garden was great. Honest God, I would love to go back, mainly because I want to spend more time with my Karen Garden teacher. He's still alive and. But, it's not the same, you know? It's like, you can see someone, and you can say hi to them, but some moments you can't get back. If anything else, I want to stop a very embarrassing moment that ruined my elementary popularity. <laughs> no, I won't be popular. I know this for sure. With all my politics and the way I talk and the way I act, woo -wee! I'll be about as popular as the plague. Not exactly the best example, considering that the plague was pretty popular with the dead bodies. God, that was bad. But you know what I mean, okay? I'm honest, okay? I always have been. When I was, my parents literally, they said that when my mom was pregnant with me, even before then, they asked, they prayed, and they wanted to raise daughters and sons that could speak up for those who couldn't, to have their own opinions, to be able to see the world how it really was, not through rose-colored tinted glasses. Okay, yes, it is amazing to do that. Okay, some things are really fun to do, especially rose-tinted glasses. Those are my favorite ones. <laughs> but you know what I mean. The world, it's not getting better. Yes, we have better electronics, better cars, better practically everything but the world itself the people in it 
are getting worse. They're horrible. I mean, hell. If I remember correctly, someone got in a fight with Clint Eastwood. Here, in my town. And no one told me. How dare they? I really want to sign my autograph book. I don't have very many. I have the um, signature of the little red-headed girl, I believe, from Sunny with a Chance, if you remember that. Or so random, the little girl. You know, little main character. I forget what her name was, but... Now I want to watch an episode, because, like, now my head is going through Timmy... Tammy Hart's... I can't remember the name, but it's Tammy Hart's skinny jeans, I think. But, yeah. I'll be right back. I am not quite sure where I was. Uh... Yeah, I don't remember. Damn. I was so excitable, wasn't I? I guess that's the end of the video. I forgot what the hell I was talking about, so... Eh. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye, I guess. Can you guys please remind me? <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculous, but good luck, guys. Bye.